Hi guys! So I was planning on cleaning out my bag tonight, but I decided that before I did that I would film a what's in my bag video for you all. Because I really enjoy the ones where they're pulling out like receipts and like random bobby pins and stuff like that. Because that's how people's bags are. No one's bag is like perfect all the time besides those people that I'm very envious of who are neat and tidy and clean. <laughs> so I guess I'll jump right into it. I have this bag so big that I can't even. From Nine West. I got it two years ago. I love it. It's getting kind of old. It's got some like wear and tear on the straps, like pen marks on it. So I think it's about time that I, I should give it up, but I don't want to yet because I love it. First I have this book Midnight Riot by Ben Aronovich. Aronovich? last name. But if you don't live in the United States, this is actually called Rivers of London. I saw it in a Tanya Burr blog when she was doing Vlogmas and it sounded really awesome and it is really awesome about, about halfway into the book and I really like it. I hate the American name and the American cover. I don't know if it's this version in everywhere but the UK or if it's just in America because we like to mess things up. But the, the cover of the UK version is so cool. I'll put it up right now so you can see. And the name fits. Because I actually just read the part where he says, the rivers of London. I'm like, oh, makes sense. But yeah, it's a good read. I suggest you all go out and read it. Next, I have a bottle of magnesium taurate. This it's for, it helps with like muscle relaxation and it's not like a muscle relaxant. It's, ma it's magnesium, just the Tory form of it and I get very stiff and sore muscles in the winter time. So I take this and it also helps with like period cramps and when your like body cramps up when you have your period and it's awful. I forgot to take it this month so yesterday my entire body felt like a bruise and that was fun. Next is my sunglasses case. It is Vera Bradley. I really, really like it. It's not as cutesy at all as a lot of Vera Bradley is. It's a little bit more modern. It has like, you know, more of a, a tribal feel to it, which I really like. And in it are my J. Crew sunglasses. I got them at the outlet, so they were like 20 bucks, which is awesome. I love them. I just feel like they work very well with my face shape. They're like if aviators and wayfarers had a baby. I love them. They have tortoise shell and rose gold hardware, which I'm obsessed with rose gold, like everybody is right now. I've always been obsessed with rose gold, and I sound like a hipster. <laughs> like, I liked rose gold before, it was cool. But it works with my skin tone very well, so I've always liked rose gold. Next, speaking of rose gold, is my mega sparkly cat spade wallet. I love this wallet. I got it this past Christmas. In it, I have my debit card, my American Eagle Rewards card. Walgreens rewards card, an ID, some cash, my boyfriend's business card, and an Ikea family card, and a Sephora Beauty Insider card. Mm -hmm. And like no change, because you can't fit any change in here. Actually, I think I might have change. Okay, I have 35 cents. <laughs> I literally have a quarter and a dime in here. You can't fit any change in here. And that's why I have my change purse. It's a from BCBG, it came in a set with one that was like for makeup. It says like makeup on it, and I think the other one says travel. And in here, I have a whole bunch of change, picture. Oh, an American Eagle coupon that expired. Oh, oh, it is not 2013. It expired over a year ago. 11713. Shows you how often I clean this kind of stuff out and a bunch of coupons and a Pottery Barn gift card that has $4.71 on it. Next I have a little sample of the Kate Spade Live Colorfully perfume. Comes in a little like spray bottle. I love this. It's so pretty. It says, Kate Spade New York invites you to live colorfully to enchant the world around you while the fragrance's notes shift from delightful water lilies to citrus to a gently seductive musk. Like light dancing on a prism. That was so hard for me to say. <laughs> the like the lilies you get that 
beautiful flowery note and definitely the musk, which I, I like. I like my flowery perfumes to be a little bit more spicy and like deep and kind of sexy. And I really want to buy that, but the smallest size is $75. <sighs> uh, why is perfume so expensive? It's like this much. Why is it so expensive? I don't understand it. Next, I have Lolita Skin Food. As you can see, it is coming very near the end. Winter, I get weird little eczema patches, which are itchy. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. I don't use it anywhere else but my hands. I used to use it on my legs right after I shaved them, but it has citrus in it and it kind of burned. But it smells really good. It smells very natural and, you know, herbal and stuff like that. I love the smell of it though. It smells very, like, luxurious to me. Next I have my hat. My winter hat. I love this hat. It's from Target. And I got it like right after I dyed my hair because I love this like deep purple color with red hair. Like I think it's amazing. And I like the little sparkly beads in it. They're silver. for me it's keeping my skin like nice looking and you know also gonna break out here and there especially a hormonal breakout but I'm kind of nervous to switch over to something I have a clear skin balancing cream from my shell as well so maybe once that runs out next I have Arnicare 30x and Arnica for anybody that doesn't know helps with bruises, helps with like stiff muscles, any sort of swelling, and I like having this because I bruise like peach, which sucks. It seems to help. It keeps my bruises from turning like green and purple, which they will do if I don't take that stuff. And keys! I have my keys. None of these are car keys because I don't drive. They're all house keys of various houses that I've lived in or currently live in or like my mom's house. I have I have two sets for my mom's house and really the set shouldn't exist anymore because it won't work because she had to change her locks because her house got broken into which is fun. I don't have a membership at the Y anymore. I don't have a membership at LA Fitness anymore. <laughs> This Al Access Pasta is still valid and my extra care card is still valid. And then I have a holiday pack of tissues with Santa on it with a coupon from Target for $2. Ooh, are you expired yet? <gasps> yes, $2 off any one degree clinical protection product. I need deodorant. I'm going to get deodorant tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy I remember this. Or found it. <laughs> But I, I use the Degree Clinical Protection Deodorant. It's awesome. I am a sweaty being and it keeps me from sweating. Anyways, so yeah, holiday tissues that just fell down into the abyss in between my bed and my night table. <laughs> I have a stain pen thing. It's like all natural. I love the Tide bleach pens, but I was at work and I needed one. So I bought it. I have a whole bunch of lip products. Let me just take out all of the lip products that I have. It's kind of disgusting. Oh god, I'm still going. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, I'm not even going to talk about these. I'm just going to tell you what they are. This is an Urban Decay 24-7 lipstick in Anarchy. Which I love this color. 
I have a Burt's Bees Rose Tinted Lip Balm, which I am addicted to, is pretty much the exact shade and consistency of the Sugar Lip Balm, the Rose one, so I would definitely consider this a dupe. And it's like $7, and the Sugar one is like 20 bucks, which is crazy. And then I have Maybelline Elixir Color Sensations in Amethyst Potion. This one is really pretty. It goes on really sheer, so I usually put it on top of this color. You can see, there we go. It's Double Lip Pencil from Lagona in 03. And this is the one that got on my gloves. As you can see, it is down to like nothingness because it got everywhere in my purse. And yet I still didn't clean out my purse. That shows you exactly how lazy I am. I have a Mineral Fusion lipstick in Flashy. It's just a regular old red lipstick. It's more of like a dark red, but I like it. Then I have a Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm in Gothic. Again, it's just red. I don't know why it's called Gothic. It's not even like a garnet red. It's just red. It's actually kind of bright. Another Lagona Double Lip Pencil in 07, which is like a nudie color. Very pretty. I like this one. I have a Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly. Again, just a nude. It's like a nude mauve with gold sparkles. It's really pretty. And I have the Revlon Just Bit in Kissable Lip Crayon. Oh, my legs smell easy. Ah, ah. No. In Smitten, which is that color. This could be called like Gothic, I think. But it's very pretty purpley color. It's like way lighter than it looks in the pencil. I have an Alba Mineral Terra Gloss in Garnet. This, this like feels like putting tinted olive oil on my lips. Like I don't really like it. It's kind of crappy. I have a CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm in 215. It's very pretty. I think this was suggested in like a Miss Glamorazzi video and that's why I bought it. And I love it. It's so pretty. I've had this for ages. I've had it since like March. So, and then I have the Stila Lip Glaze in Kitten. I got the kitten set that they sell at Sephora, which comes with like the eyeshadow, which was completely broken, which sucked. And I still am needing to like put some alcohol in it to make it solid. Slip gloss, an eye pencil, I think it's an angel fish, and that's gorgeous. I love that one. And then the like all over highlighter glow thing, and it came in this pretty little pouch, which is all sparkly, and it's like the thread is sparkly, which I love when it's actually metallic thread woven through, so then you know that glitter isn't gonna get anywhere, which I hate it with that. In here I have two little things of Oral-B Pro Health Glide Dental Floss. I got these from my dentist because I went for a cleaning earlier this month. Haven't used them. I'm not like a great dental person, which would be cool. You would think that having two dental flosses in my bag I mean, I would be like a neat breathe with my mouth, but maybe I should keep these in here so I'll remember. Remember?
that. To my jaw. I have a mirror. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. It was from Ulta. They were doing like the breast cancer month. I got it in October and for like each amount of money that you donated you got like a little prize. I think I donated five bucks and I got this. I would have donated even if there weren't gifts but this was a nice present. And I have a magnesia phosphorica homeopathic remedy this is again for like muscle you get hiccups because really hiccups are just like a spasm in your esophagus that's right don't quote me on that this helps a lot and I get frequent hiccups so it's not fun and I have a necklace from Target with a bobby pin in it it's pretty neat and that is it for the main department oh hiding in the fold. I have this. This is the best thing of time. It's from Miss Manicure and it has a nail file on this side and then it has a smooth buff shine. It's like a little travel buffer. It is amazing. I love having this thing. Now on to the little sides of my bags and sides pockets over here. I have some saran wrap, probably from a snack. I have a tiny little lighter, which I don't even think this is mine. I think this is someone else's lighter because I don't smoke, so there's no reason for me to have a lighter in my purse. So I think this is someone else's lighter. So if this is yours, let me know. And more coupons from Target, which I'm pretty positive these have expired. Okay, that's telling me about their pharmacy. Minikins mini figures because I was totally gonna buy those for me and then in my big pouch I keep band-aids I have a bracelet from Francesca's collection which is really pretty I absolutely love this bracelet I got it for Christmas and I have It's like rose gold hardware and which is also from Francesca's collection. Do I have the mates? I have the mate to the little one, but not the big one. Oh, I hope it's somewhere in my room. I think it is. Because I tried those on this morning to see if they went with my outfit and they didn't. So I didn't wear them. But oh, that's over now. <laughs> that's all I have in my bag, which Thank God that's all I have in my bag because if I had more, I would have the fucking kitchen sink in my bag. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!